From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. State-owned logistics company Transnet Freight Rail has increased its planned haulage of grain to the Bethlehem Silo Facility of VKB Agriculture by 133%, with 550,000 tonnes of grain planned to be moved to South Africa's ports for export. Crema Media contributing editor Donna Slater tells us more. Transnet launched its 2021 grain export season on May 17 at a Bethlehem facility where VKB shunts and loads grain wagons for collection by Transnet locomotives. The rail company is looking to expand its capacity but is hindered by some factors. Transnet Group CEO Porsche Darby speaks to us about the challenges this year's grain export season and what Transnet is doing to increase its reliability. So this is really exciting uh, for us and for me in particular. Uh, agriculture remains a very important sector for South Africa um, and it not only does it feed us but it's a great job creator for the people that uh, we have actually, uh, generally rural uh, but also really an important contributor towards the balance of payments in terms of export. So today we were launching the season for this year. Uh, the plan is to move uh, 550,000 tonnes for export only. Total movement for the whole system is 1.2 million uh, tonnes. Nowhere near the numbers that the, in, that the farmers would like us to move, which is almost twice that much. However, as Transnet, as we've been saying, have got some serious uh, constraints. The biggest one uh, being cable theft, uh, which means that uh, a system which is generally electric we are having to find solutions to run diesel and actually increasingly we're looking to use a lot more diesel that's one side the other side is the locomotive um, availability which has been a problem for, for quite a while some of our locals are very old as you heard uh, some over 43 years old in terms of average age so we do need to have a replacement program and it's unfortunate as part of the 1064 uh, um, procurement program of locals which has been is now under review so fortunately we now started negotiating and it means that we can now look at another procurement event so that we can be able to bring on stream newer uh, uh, locals unfortunately we would have ri- liked to have run the cheaper the electric system costs about a quarter of running diesels but the cable theft is such that we're not able to produce a reliable service so the only way for us to move towards reliability is to increasingly uh, move towards diesel especially in the areas where there's high incidence of cable theft but really an exciting day uh, uh, for for us uh, and really is an important partnership that we are trying to forge with the farming uh, uh, sector agriculture doesn't pay quite the full cost of moving it on rail however this this is one area where we're looking at a policy position around how we move more uh, goods from road to rail and so how do we have a tariff regime that enables us to grow back uh, some of the costs that we have. But we definitely have areas of improvement even on our side. Grain stakeholders also have a role to play in terms of getting their products ready for the export market. AgriSA Executive Director Christoph van der Rieda tells us more. AgriSA consists of approximately 25 commodities nine provinces and 60 uh, corporate organizations. So we cover the entire spectrum of uh, the agriculture value chain. And we've got a particular interest in uh, infrastructure, uh, also uh, policies that relates to agriculture, uh, but more so um, you know, farmers, you know, all farmers play in terms of food security. And we are quite privileged to be present here today to witness uh, what is happening in terms of grain exports. Uh, the fact that Transnet is here and represented at a very high level, the CEO present here today, uh, is of great significance to us as the industry. Our economy is in deep trouble. And this kind of partnership between the private sector and the public sector is of critical importance. What has happened today is really heartwarming and also gives a lot of confidence to our sector, the agriculture sector. Taking hands with Transnet to export grains to the rest of the world is of great significance, uh, not only for farmers but for the entire South African economy. And what we've seen today is really um, a collaborative effort from Transnet side as well as the industry side to make sure that our rail um, um, uh, infrastructure is efficiently managed and that our silos are efficiently managed 
and whatever produce the farmers produce that comes to the silos that the trains are ready to export or to transport it for export purposes and for that we're very very grateful and we foresee that even closer relationship uh, uh, you know is will become critical going into the future uh, and that will help us to grow our economy uh, bring about greater job creation and more so create a lot of foreign exchange for our country. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.